Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, that's because these airbrush projects just are really, really time consuming. I've only got one day a week uh, to work on them. So, uh, anywho, here it is. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, fire up the arcade machine, uh, show you how it works, how it feels, how it sounds, uh, see if it was really worth it overall. Um, probably is. But uh, anyway, uh, let's, get, uh, let's get airbrushing.
Okay guys, here she is, all finished, and it is awesome. I absolutely love it, and I'm surprised it turned out this good, to be honest with you. Um, here it is on its glory. So, I'll just show you, you've seen this, obviously, the painting. And I have that plastic piece of Lexan over the screen, a sneeze guard I got from Home Depot. You saw that in my build video. And there's my zombie. And of course my Robocop and Alien on that side. Um, boy, it just turned out great. So let me fire it up for you. So if we click here, and this is where I have my uh, controller for games that require you know, analog controls. So all I have is everything plugged into this power strip here. So I'm just going to turn on the power strip. And the LED lights come on. And the monitor takes a moment. Uh, marquee lights up. And it fires up. Um, also, my speakers have a volume here. I can I have it just right now. So I'll leave that alone. And that's it. It plays great. The bass, uh, the subwoofer's down below. And uh, it just sounds great. I absolutely love it. Um, so a lot of you were, or some of you were asking about dimensions and plans, and I, I eyeballed all of this stuff, uh, so I don't have plans, but basically, I want to explain a little bit more about what I did here, was I just took a sheet of plywood and stood it against the wall. Uh, and then I, I stood here, I stood next to the piece of plywood and held my hands out in front of me and I said, I want the deck to be about this high, and I'm six foot two. Uh, so it's probably a little higher than what most people would want, but and then I just marked the plywood with a pencil just like that and Then I took the monitor and I held the monitor in my hands and I held it up against The sheet of plywood. There's a the sheet of plywood here I held it up against the sheet of plywood and I tilted it and I wanted it about Right here and then I with my other hand took a pencil and just kind of drew a line on my plywood and then I stood back and looked at it and I thought, okay, that's where my pencil mark was. And I just, I just kind of drew the shape out here. I measured how big my monitor was and I just drew it with pencil on the side of the plywood and then drew the shape out and cut it. Uh, so I didn't actually measure any of that. I just knew I wanted it about that high and I want the monitor about that angle. I traced it with pencil and a ruler. And then once I cut this shape out, I just laid it on the other sheet, traced it out and cut the other side. So it's exactly the same. Uh, and it all fit perfect. The only thing is that I did measure was the console here. And I wanted to have a little bit of gap here because there's a lip for this to sit on. So I just added an inch or two inches to this. So this is actually 27 inches which just happens to be just wider, than, you know, two inches wider than that. Uh, so all the pieces of wood, all the way up, this piece, this, everything is 27 inches across. And that's the only thing that really had to be right, was all those pieces had to be 27 inches wide. Everything else, I mean, once I drew, I drew the design on the side of the plywood, and I drew the piece of wood that goes here, and I drew the piece of wood that goes goes here, and then I just I just cut them to fit my pencil marks. So there aren't really plans to. I mean, build it however you want, as high as you want. I mean, you could even build one that only that only goes to here, and it sits on your table or your counter. It doesn't have to be a, a freestanding one. I wanted a freestanding one, but. That's about it. It works great. Unfortunately, it's gonna be difficult to get any work done around here anymore because this thing is so fun. Let me uh, let me start up a game just so I don't, you can hear it. Um, read inversion. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear it on this camera. Getting a lot of glare from the lights above me. I'll have to do something about it. Man. Player start. Bam. And these these little speakers here, and then there's there's a subwoofer like I said down below in there. It just sounds great. Hey. 
bass. The bass on that subwoofer is just, it's just awesome. Um, so if you get, if you're building one of these and you get some computer speakers to plug in, I definitely recommend getting some with a self-powered subwoofer. That subwoofer is uh, plugged into the power strip there, and uh, boy, that really makes it you know, authentic sounding. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff. That really helps me out. Um, I'm probably going to do some smaller projects uh, in my next few videos. I'm not putting enough videos up because these projects like this are just taking me too long. I only have uh, one day per week to do all this. Um, so I'm probably going to be doing some drawings, um, some inking, comic book style stuff, and get some more videos up for a while um, before I take on another, another large project like this. And also these costumes, these uh, like my other videos. These take months to complete. But hopefully you liked those. So leave a comment if you liked it. And what would you like to see? Would you like me to would you like me to do more more airbrushing? Um, or would you like to see some of my inking? I'm even thinking of doing another foam carving. That's what that is there. That clock is a foam carving. Also that one. Um, there's more outside the shop here, but let me know what you think. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.